just like this one played out all over the city of Philadelphia yesterday as local Biden Harris supporters celebrated in the street with music, chanting, and dancing. Eyewitness News reporter Howard Monroe is live on Independence Mall for us this morning with all the details. Good morning, Howard. Good morning to you, Jane. You know, the city is quiet this morning after those celebrations yesterday afternoon. Those celebrations were so intense that they nearly shut down Center City. Now, CBS News called the race between Biden and Trump at about noon yesterday, and Philadelphia almost immediately burst into celebrations. While Biden is the projected winner, counting continues. That is still taking place at the convention center. Trump's campaign says they intend to file a lawsuit challenging the vote counting. It's because of a decision made by the Pennsylvania Supreme Court to allow back Ballots received by Friday at 5 p.m. to be counted. Those ballots, however, had to be separated from the initial count. Either way, President and Vice President elect Joe Biden and Kamala Harris spoke to the nation last night from Wilmington, Delaware. Americans have called upon us to marshal the forces of decency, the forces of fairness, to marshal the forces of science. When our very democracy was on the ballot in this election, with the very soul of America at stake and the world watching, you ushered in a new day for America. Now, as for the big picture in the vote count, Biden is leading Trump now by almost 4 million votes. It's also important to note that both Biden and Trump received more votes than any other president's president, uh, presidential nominees in the history, both of them receiving more than 70 million votes. Live in Old City, Howard Monroe, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Howard, thanks so much.